Hey gang, and welcome to your first step in creating a Flutter app with Firebase. All right then gang, so in this series, we're gonna be learning how to create a Flutter app for mobiles using Firebase as a backend. Now Firebase is a service made by Google and it just acts as a backend to our applications. So it offers loads of different things like cloud hosting, storage, authentication services, and a real-time database called Firestore as well. It basically just acts as the back end of our app so that we can put most of the focus over here in Flutter instead of worrying about all this authentication database stuff on the back end. Firebase can take care of a lot of that for us and makes it really simple to implement inside our Flutter apps. Okay then my friends, so this is the app that we're going to be building in this series. It's called Brew Crew. And if you're unsure what brew means, if you're not from the UK, it just means hot beverage, like a coffee or a tea or something. And the inspiration for this actually came from an ex-colleague of mine. We were having a discussion at one point because we worked on a huge team and ultimately every person in that team at some point wanted a coffee. So what we did is these little rounds where one person would go up at a time to get everyone else a drink. And because everyone has different things, different preferences, we'd have to go around the team, 15 or 20 people, and write down what each person wanted. And that was always a hassle, and it always ultimately ended up with one or two people not getting what they ordered. So this was our solution to either create some kind of app or some kind of form that every new team member fills in, and they can write down their brew preferences, how strong they like the coffee and how many sugars, their name, etc. So that when someone is doing a brew round, if you like, then they just collect all those cards, they can take them up to the little kitchener and make the correct brews. Now, instead of cards, because this is a programming series and not a write down something on a bit of card series, we are going to make an app which does the same thing. So everyone can register to begin with, every new team member, or if they've already registered, sign up, or rather sign in, which is what I'm gonna do. So sean at the net ninja.co.uk, and then the password is test1234, sign in. And we should see a list of all the different team members and their brew preferences. So Yoshi takes two sugars, and on the left we have an icon over here, and this is to signify the strength of their brew. So if it's light, it means that that's the color they want their brew, pretty weak. If it's dark, it means they want it pretty strong, right? So mine is here, Sean takes two sugars and kind of medium, but if I want to update my preferences at any point, I can do by going to settings, and then I could change my name if I wanted to, for whatever reason. I could also change how many sugars I wanted, and I could change the strength of the brew using this slider. So if I wanted a black coffee, I could update that, and it would update over here in real time. So the next time someone wants to make a round of brews, they just take up this app and they could see all the latest brew preferences for every different team member, and they could just make them according to this. So that is the story behind this application, and that's what we're gonna be building in this series. Okay then, so before we get started with this playlist, I do wanna make one thing clear. This series that you're watching is not gonna be a complete introduction to Flutter. So at this point, I would expect you to know how to install Flutter on your computer or already have it installed, how to use some simple widgets inside Flutter to create a very simple application, and also how to preview that on some kind of Android emulator, maybe using Android Studio or something else. So if all of that is new to you and you don't know how to do any of that, then I would advise before you start this course to check out my Flutter tutorial for beginners course here on YouTube. I'll leave that link down below and then you can come back to this one when we can start adding Firebase and some more advanced features to the application. Now, the second thing I wanna point out is that this course is using Firebase and although I don't expect to know really anything about Firebase, if you do want to kind of brush up your skills first of all and learn about Firebase Auth separately or the Firebase Firestore, which is a real-time database, then I have playlists for both of those things here on YouTube as well. So those links will be down below as well, just in case you want to learn more about them as we go forward. All right then, so due to popular demand, I'm going to create this Flutter app inside VS Code in this series. Now, in the first Flutter series that I created, the Flutter for Beginners one, I used Android Studio, and that's because I think it's easier to get up and running in Android Studio for new Flutter developers. 
But I know since then a lot of you have asked me to show you how to get up and running with Flutter inside VS Code. So that's what I'm going to do in this series. But if you want to carry on using Android Studio, that's absolutely fine. You can still follow along because the code is going to be no different from one editor to the next. But for those of you who do want to know how to get up and running with Flutter in VS Code, then I'm going to show you how to do that now. It's pretty simple. So first of all, you need to download VS Code, right? And then secondly, we need to install a couple of packages so that VS Code can work with Flutter and Dart files. The first one is this Flutter package right here. And the second one is this Dart package. So just search for those up here in the marketplace and install both of those first of all. Now, once you've done that, we can then go ahead and create a new Flutter project. And we can do that by pressing Control Shift and P on Windows and then going to Flutter New Project. Now I'm going to call this brew underscore crew. This is the name of the project. Then press enter and it's going to ask us where to install this app. So I'm going to select this Flutter with Firebase folder and choose select a folder. Then it's going to create this application and open up a new window of VS Code with the app installed. Now it's going to create all of this dummy project with all of these dummy files over here, very much like it would in Android Studio when we create a new Flutter application. So I'm hoping by now you understand what all of these things are or what most of these things are. If you don't, again, make sure you check out the Flutter for Beginners series first of all, and then come back here. Now, if you want to preview this in an Android emulator, then first of all, you need some kind of emulator installed on your computer. I did that using Android Studio. Again, I'm assuming you already have one. If you don't, check out the other playlist first of all. I'll show you how to do that. And once you have that installed, if you open up a Dart file, I'm in main.dart and press F5, then choose which emulator you want to run this on. It's going to open that emulator and it's just going to take a couple of minutes or not even that, 20 seconds, so it can launch on this emulator. All right, so there we go. Now we have our Flutter app up and running. This is the dummy app that comes along for the ride when we create a new Flutter application. And now we can start coding our app. But there's one more thing I want to talk about in this video, and that's how to access the files for this course. So because I'm a super kind ninja, I've created code for every single lesson and I've uploaded it to this GitHub repo right here so you can access it. And I'm going to leave this link down below in the description. And each individual lesson in this series is going to have its own branch in this repo. So if you want to see the code for lesson seven, for example, you go to lesson seven and you can see all of the code inside this brew crew folder right here. If you want to download it, you can select your branch first of all, which lesson, then go to clone or download and download the zip. Or if you're proficient in Git and GitHub, you can just clone this to your computer and mess about with it that way. But anyway, all of the course files are up here on this repo. So there we go, my friends. That is the introduction out of the way. And in the next video, we're going to start to set up Firebase with our Flutter app. If you do like these videos, my friends, please do not forget to share, subscribe and like. And I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.